PVE Arcanist Healer for Beginners. Put all 64 attribute points into Magicka. For the Restoration Staff Front Bar, put on Radiating Regeneration, Chakram of Destiny, or Chakra, Energy Orb from the Undaunted Skill Line, Combat Prayer, your most important heal, Illustrious Healing, the longer duration morph. Front Bar Ultimate is Gibbering Shelter. We're just using it for the Wellspring of the Abyss passive under Soldier of Apocrypha for more sustain, so don't actually cast it. For the back bar destruction staff, put on Elemental Blockade, the longer duration morph, Echoing Vigor from the Alliance skill line, Rune of the Colorless Pool, Xena's Empowering Disc, Overflowing Altar from the Undaunted skill line, and the back bar ultimate is Aggressive Warhorn to give your group major force which will increase their damage. For the monster set, obtain Sentinel of Rakugums, which is base game and easy to obtain. It'll increase your healing and help with sustain. You'll need to run Darkshade Caverns 1 Veteran for the headpiece. Join a guild and ask your guildmates for help if you're having trouble with the content. Note in the future, if you decide to run with more advanced groups, the monster helm will vary based on group needs. For the body, obtain the Spell Power Cure set, which will give you and your group major courage, increasing damage, and healing done. It drops in the White Gold Tower DLC dungeon. Healing a target that is at full health, known as overhealing, will apply the buff. Ideally make all your body pieces, including the monster set, divine trait. Use max magic enchants on all body pieces. For the jewelry and the back bar destruction staff, obtain powerful assault. This set is very easy to obtain as you can buy it from guild traders. We're just back barring powerful assault and using the vigor skill to proc it. Jewelry traits should be all infused with reduced spell cost enchantments. This will make it easy to sustain your magicka. An infused lightning staff is the back bar. The enchantment can vary. Here I recommend crushers so that you can help your group do more damage. Ideally, the powerful assault staff is lightning so that you can help proc the off balance debuff on enemies. Damage dealers often run the exploiter champion point, which does a lot of damage if you proc off balance. Finally, for the front bar, obtain the Master's Restoration Staff from Dragonstar Arena, which helps your group sustain. Use Powered as the trait for more healing and Berserker, aka Weapon Damage, as the enchant, which will also increase your healing. The staff does not need to be the perfected version. If the Master's Staff is too difficult for you to obtain, you can buy a Restoration Staff of the Trainee from a Guild Trader, which will serve as a placeholder until you can obtain the Master's Staff. A crafted Restoration Staff, such as Order's Wrath, would also work. If Spell Power Cure isn't available to you, the Olarim set from Cloudrest gives the same buff, but is a little trickier to use. If neither set is available to you, two crafted sets like Order's Wrath or Julianos will do as placeholders until you can obtain SPC or whatever you're missing. Use the Ritual Mundus to increase your healing. The gear body pieces are all traded divines to boost healing further. For champion points, our three main blue slottables for healer are Soothing Tide, Rejuvenator, and Swift Renewal. The fourth slot is a flex. Typically, it's from the brink or enlivening overflow. For red slottables, use Bastion, Rejuvenation, Boundless Vitality, and Shieldmaster. Unlike other healer setups, we're going for a shield theme here because of Arcanist's Chakra ability. The only green slottable that matters is Steed's Blessing. If you can't afford 50 points into a slottable, just put 10 points into each for now until you can obtain them all. The buff boot is Artaeum Pickled Fish for max mag and health. It's available at guild traders. Any race will work. I usually go Breton on my healers as I like the additional magicka sustain. The basics of how to use the Arcanist healer. Combat prayer is your emergency heal. If someone is in trouble, spam this until they're okay. Think of it as your main heal. It also buffs your group with minor berserk, so cast it at least once every 10 seconds. Radiating Regeneration is your cheap spammable. Use this skill whenever your other skills are still active and nothing needs to be reapplied. It's a sticky heal over time, or hot, so it hits players without you having to aim it, useful when the group is in motion. Chakram of Destiny, or Chakra, is your other cheap spammable and your method of generating crux. We want to build and maintain three crux for the Healing Tides passive, which increases our healing done for each stack of crux. Don't just rush to build crux at the start of a fight though. Get your buffs and hots up first, and naturally work Chakra into your rotation. Chakra is unique in that it is a spammable shield for your allies, allowing you to proactively manage damage. 
It's why we have Shieldmaster and Bastion champion slottables. During an extended spammable phase in a fight, I find it useful to alternate between radiating regeneration and chakra in the manner being shown. Illustrious Healing, Energy Orb, and Vigor are your main hots. Keep them on group and keep them up on cooldown. Don't let them fall off for very long. Vigor is used on the back bar to proc powerful assault, but you need to cast Vigor twice in a row for full group coverage if it's a group of 12. Let Vigor fall off for a moment before recasting so that the smart targeting of powerful assault works properly. Elemental Blockade combined with the infused destruction staff helps proc our enchant and keep it active. If it's a shock staff, the skill will also help proc off balance on enemies. Xena's Empowering Disc gives the group a bunch of useful buffs, especially Minor Courage, which increases their damage. We want this morph which lets your group keep their buffs if they leave the area of effect instead of the healing morph, as the buffs are more important. Overflowing Altar gives a synergy to a player that is about to die that will save their life. Rune of the Colorless Pool is used on a target to debuff it with Minor Brittle and Minor Vulnerability, letting your group do more damage. Aggressive Warhorn is the ultimate to use in combat, giving the group major force, increasing their damage by a lot. The group is safer when it can end threats quickly rather than having to manage them for a long time.